Hi, I'm Cillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to paint different types of onions in oil color. Enjoy! For the base of our onions, we'll just block in some shadowy color with brown, and then we'll put in the basic shapes where we want them to be, how big, with some brown paint. Not very dark, just the basic outline. Two whole, whole onions on top, and there goes a green onion and a slice on the side. Taking some straight magenta for the darkest parts of the purple onion. That'll go all the way around. And for the top stem part and the bottom. And we'll just leave empty those spaces that are lighter. And adding some white and crimson to this magenta will gradually get some lighter tones for the lighter areas of the onion. So that it gradually gets lighter and lighter until we reach the area that we want to be the lightest. For the slice, we'll just put in some straight magenta with crimson and we'll try to follow the shape of how those slices will be nestled inside the peel. And we'll just touch up the gradual white to dark of the whole onion and put in some straight white in the areas that are the lightest. And gradually work out from there so that it gets darker as it fades into the shadowy parts. Here's for the very brightest area, where the light is hitting straight on, and then working out from there. Now with the palette knife you can scratch in some lines up to down to show that it's an onion, since onions have lines. And we can do that also a little bit with the fan brush that is dry. Just make sure not to lose those bright spots. Now taking a very small brush and working in the direction that the layers of onion are sitting one inside the other. Starting at the very center and working down towards the bottom end of the onion. We'll put in some white strips, making sure to leave a tiny little space of purple in between so that they look like layers and not just one big white blotch. So make sure to keep those layers defined. Oil paint has a tendency to just rub out anything that's worked on too much. So try to keep the strokes light and as few as possible. The, end, the bottom part is the lightest point, as is the center. The layers do get more purple as they move out. Now we'll work on the yellow onion. And using a mixture of brown and yellow and red, I'll be like an orangey brown. We'll put in some dark areas. Adding some white, we'll move to the lighter areas. Whenever you're looking at a picture that you want to copy, your reference photo, just notice 
which parts are the darkest, which parts are the lightest, and which parts are somewhere in between. And always keep in mind to do, to put in, even if the color is not exactly the same color as your photo, the more you pay attention to the value, that means how light or dark it is, that will give it much more realism. So once again we have that bright spot on the top left and bottom right. And we'll scratch in some onion lines with a palette knife. And touch up some of those dark places. And just make this onion look edible. Here's our green onion, our scallion, on the bottom. So we'll just pluck in some green, a mixture of phthalo and sap greens. These do come in different colors, it doesn't really matter what green you choose, as long as it looks nice to you. I'm going to give it some shadow around it so that it looks like it's actually sitting on the grass. And we'll start with the lightest parts of the the bulb of it and gradually work that light color up towards the shoots. The very end is a little yellowish. And we'll just lighten up those stalks. Depending on how old your scallion is, how big this bulb, how big you want it to be. This is a young one. Didn't get a chance to get so big. So we'll just add some shadowy areas with brown, and that will define each shoot one from the other. And that'll be good. Add some more dark parts for that yellow onion. And 